Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we are testing another batch of kitchen gadgets. As always, if you've missed any of the other kitchen gadget videos to date, watch this one and then have a barathon and check out the rest on the kitchen gadget playlist. There's actually two different playlists. Also bear in mind that some of these gadgets could help someone with a disability before commenting down below. Most of these are quite novelty today, but there is one retest as well that I'm looking forward to. Pugs are just down there, chilling out. And the really cool thing about this video is um, it's probably going to be brunch by the time I get to it, but I get to have a cooked breakfast today. Oh yes! All of the gadgets, once I'm done, I sign them and then give them away. So if you're not following me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, at My Virgin Kitchen, I'm doing regular giveaways and surprising you guys. So be sure to do that if you want one of these once I'm done with it. Just let me review it first. And of course, I'll leave links down below if you want to get one as well. Our first one is Novel Tea. Dad joke. Sorry. Iceberg, dead ahead. This is the tea tannic. Not the first time I've used a tea infuser on this, and it probably won't be the last. The girls made a snowman in the garden at the weekend, and it's kind of turned into an iceberg. What's left of it? You see it down there? Iceberg, right ahead. Just gonna boil my kettle. And get this mug. I don't recognize this mug. Have I used that in a video before? I mean, you guys know my kitchen as much as me. Perfect for this though. Random fact, when Titanic was out in the cinemas, me and six other friends bought, I think we were teenagers at the time, we went, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go watch Titanic. And then it was all like, <laughs> Jack, come back. Still really gutted that Rose left Jack, you know, in the water. You guys know I don't like tea. If one of you out there can find a way for me to enjoy tea, we'll go for it. But the tea tannic, tea infuser, infuser à deux, infuser de terre. It's silicon. It looks like the boat. Clearance, but it was still £5.59. For oceans of flavour, I love it. To be honest, I prefer tea jerker. So you put it in your tea like that and it's supposed to sort of sink like the Titanic. It's, it's a bit sinister, isn't it? The clearance sticker has actually covered another quote. Sink the famous ship into your teacup. Now, if that doesn't sell it, nothing will. Oh, and actually needed that anyway, so I can see the instructions. There it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Um, let's, um, let's give it a wash. All right. You know what the ultimate tea infuser would be, don't you? Mr. Tea Infuser. Oh my gosh. I pity the tea. That probably does exist. If it doesn't, Mr. T's folk need to really get on that. Isn't he on Twitter? I wonder if I send him a tweet, can you guys like, like it or something? Yeah, let's do that. You probably won't see it. Kettle's there. And there are my loose tea leaves. Get our spoon. Mrs. Barry's not too fond of tea either, so I'm gonna give those tea leaves to my mum, who's very partial to it. Just getting <laughs> leaves, it always happens. Right, and there's holes in it, so it'll probably pull through. Princess spoon, it's gonna help. How, many, how much is good? I'm gonna make it strong. With tea, if it smelt how it tasted, I would love it. And I put milk in it. I did a tea tasting tea thing. Uh, on the channel somewhere, go have a look for it. But I don't know if this one's gonna work, you know, because those holes are quite, um... sorry, as a postman, he's well-trained. At the top there, that's quite a snug fit. In my mind, I wanna reboil the kettle. Does anyone else do that? They boil the kettle and then leave it for like a minute and then they're like, oh, oh I better reboil it. Don't do that. It's still gonna be hot. See? I'll tidy the leaves up in a minute. So all we do, we just stick it in. Maybe I need a bigger mug. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh wow, it's working, look. <laughs> it's like making dirty water. I'm feeling a little bit bad now. I've got little visions of um, tiny little uh, Rose and Jacks from Titanic floating in the hot water. But then if it was hot, they would have survived, wouldn't they? I suppose all the tea has gone to that end. So we're, yeah. Was I supposed to be doing it one end? No, this, I think there's like this hull bit. Is that the hull? The end of the boat, that bit there. I think you're supposed to use that to grab it with your fingers a little bit. So yeah, we're, we're making tea, baby. It's tea time. And the leaves aren't coming out. I'm quite surprised. There's a few in there, but I think I knocked that in through user error. We've gone for quite a strong and malty tea, apparently, because it says strong and malty on the front cover, but it is um, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. Don't worry, I've still got Lizzie as well. She's just having a bit of a rest at the moment. But that is looking seriously strong. Wow. I'm turning it upside down. <sighs> uh, just to see if there's any tea at the other end. Ah, uh, yeah, because there's hardly any holes there. That's where you're supposed to hold it, so I'm now holding it incorrect. Put your finger and thumb there like I did before. Beautiful. You can even see on the end there how some of the tea leaves have tried to reenact Jack and Rose doing the whole... See, tea smells like a smell that I want to love. No. Still taste of dirt. If that Mr. T tea infuser does not exist, oh my gosh, I pity the tea. Tea ain't getting no tea bag, sucker. I should be in marketing. Do you want some tea? Hey! Hey! 
Hey, that was good, wasn't it? Tom Cruise in cocktail. All right. Um, I've got a question for you. Uh, do you like sushi? Because I blooming love it, and it's quite easy to make your own homemade one. I did this video a couple of years ago of making homemade sushi, and it was phenomenal. Bizarrely as well, something happened to my camera that day. I never really know how to use these things, and it looked insane. Like, it looked... It looked like Steven Spielberg was directing it and stuff. Steven Spielberg directing Titanic, starring Mr. T. We've done it, guys. We've made it. We've made a movie. This by Le Q, uh is the twin one. Uh, it's a knife, right? Oh, it's not just a knife. It's also a, a forky, stabby thing that you can put in salad. It's not just one of those. You can do a variety of things. You can also turn it into chopsticks. <sighs> Bit of an itch, sorry. And that is everything on the box, but that's all you need to know. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. What a fancy way to open a box. Let's do it. Hi. <laughs> wow. Yes. That, oh my gosh, that's it. There's nothing else in the box. There is nothing else. Oh, there's instructions on the side. Twin one is a set cutlery convertible into chopsticks. By filling the pieces of cutlery together, they become an easy to use set of chopsticks that bring together the oriental and occidental, occidental traditions in a funny way. <laughs> that's funny. Sorry, there's more caffeine in tea than coffee, right? So that explains the hyperness. But look at these things, that's really cool. Are they like non-slip grip as well? So that feels like quite cheap, nasty plastic. But this bit in there is reassurance. Hmm. It's like, yeah, it's like non-slip. Good, good. Knife, fork. I'm looking at this diagram here for reference, okay? That, that. And then, oh my gosh, yeah. There's a groove. There's a little groove on the back of it. See that? We're going to push this slippy bit into that groove and up. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Mr. Miyagi. But it's not quite level, actually. Ah, that's better, that's better. There we go, oh yeah, look, it's that's level now. There was that other thing in Karate Kid, wasn't there? We uh, chopped the ice. I think it was on a video game I had on my Amiga. I didn't make my own sushi today, I got some high quality <laughs> supermarket made stuff. See? Which I hope is actually made of fish. Sometimes these kits actually come with chopsticks. I imagine a lot of people have these on their lunch break. You know, you've got Colin sat there with his ham sandwich and you're just sat there, hi, I've just got my uh, sushi. Just gonna prepare my wasabi and my soy. <laughs> and it always seems to come in like a little fish shaped bottle. I don't know. So just for testing, I've got two different size uh, sushi there. Wasabi, oh yeah. I actually do like wasabi because I am obsessed with horseradish. Bit of soy. Ugh. Yeah. Ginger. Teenage Mutant Ginger Turtles. That would have made the cartoon really different, wouldn't it? Oh, we can open it. Yes. Get it in. Down. Dunk. Dunk. Oh, God. To be fair, that was really good. Non-slip. It works an absolute charm. And my fear was that it wasn't going to open wide enough. But look. So that means Daddy Sushi. Ah, like that. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It does really, really work. And it's making me mull over. As you know, we're moving house soon. Like, you can either have this, this, and this. Or just this. I don't know if Mrs. Barry is gonna agree to having cutlery like that, but that's phenomenal. There's gotta be a way of working a spoon in this as well. And a roll out placemat, and a napkin, and a complimentary wet wipe. We're making brands today, guys. This is great. Now, any Australians watching, me being British, you would sometimes refer to me as a, a pommy, right? Wait for it, I'm sorry about this. Now imagine that I was made of granite. Makes me a pommy granite. But I'll keep those dad jokes coming. Yes, this folks is a pomegranate and it has delicious gorgeous seeds in it, which I absolutely love plonking in salads. I know you wouldn't think that from my figure, but generally there are some amazing recipes you can do with this. But Barry, it's so hard to get your seeds out of your pomegranate, damn it, Janet. Little Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, mentioned there. Can you tell I'm unscripted? Yes. Don't worry, you need one of these. Thanks, Janet. Uh, yeah, this is a pomegranate de cedar. Uh, this is by Handy Kitchen Thingy. I think they make quite a few gadgets, actually. I've reviewed a few things before. And on that note, I'm trying to uh, get my own range of gadgets. I've teased this enough. I'm actually speaking to people in China about making them and also two big brands about maybe my face on a box, which might overtake all of that. I'm just going to put this down and talk serious now. I'm going to maybe do some videos where I compare like five different spiralizer gadgets, pick my favorite one, and then that will go in the My Virgin kit. Wait and see, but I'll need your help. Anyhow, back to serious pomegranate uh, de cedar discussions. Uh, handy kitchen thingy, pomegranate de cedar. De seed pomegranate seeds in minutes and save lengthy labor intensive preparation time. Simply cut the pomegranate in half and trim off the crown. Trim off the crown? 
All right, no inflatable crowns here, Stuart, all right? Using a knife, score the flat edge of the fruit equally in five places. Place face down on the lid and tap with a wooden spoon. Whack. Done. The lid acts as a sieve for the seeds as they fall through and are caught by the container. Wash before use. Dishwasher safe. Before we had a dishwasher, we were thought, you know, doesn't matter. Dishwasher's amazing. So it's just basically a bowl with holy lids, Batman. And I'm by the sink, so I'm gonna wash it. And I know I teased uh, on the recent hacks video, Mrs. Barry's ironing channel. How about Barry's washing up channel? Welcome to My Virgin Washing Up. Today we're washing up a glass. Please subscribe for regular videos. Found a tiara wig, didn't I? Oh yeah, perks of having daughters. So Phoebe and Chloe, what does your daddy do for a living? But anyhow, bonus gadget inclusion. We needed a wooden spoon to tap and make a rhythm. <laughs> then you need mix sticks. <laughs> I got sent these literally the other day but from someone. Thank you so much to people that just send me random gadgets. Um, I've got a real medieval one coming from years ago. So if you've got any old ones lying around your house, like proper old ones, let me know and I'll, I'll send it back to you and stuff. But these are mix sticks, drumstick spoons. Cuillère, uh, why does it always sound so much better in French? Cuillère's baguette de l'amour. These are not baguettes, but I, I, I'm going to go with it. Cooking end. All right, nice. And that's the rocking end. Yeah. I'm not a drummer. I don't have a drum kit. Keeping rhythm in the kitchen. That's it. That or that. But we need to smack our pomegranate. <coughs> Just take the tassels off. It's got a musical note in that spoon, making it quite pointless if you want to lift anything out. One, two, three, four. Music. Shout out to my friend Eli Silverman from Barshans. I was inspired by Clanker Man during that scene. Okay, if you haven't seen that, Google that, Eli from Barshans, hilarious. Someone asked me why I put that underneath there the other day. Um, hack that a lot of people know, it stops your chopping board moving. No. Looks like a cartoon bomb or like a really angry apple. Cut the lid off. A few little seeds trying to escape. Hey, quick, Martin, we'll get out the back door and no one's gonna see us. <coughs> so we we'll slice it in half using our uh, knife that we sharpened on a mug the other day. Catching Hacks 8, which you guys loved, especially this moment. Looks a bit like a gory scene at the moment, but there are our seeds, baby. Using a knife, score the flat edge of the fruit equally in five places. Now I think when it says scoring, it's like that. Because in the picture, they've actually sort of made like light incisions. So I'm going to do that. Because as you guys know from my... Uh, Pythagoras slash pie joke thing that kind of threw back on me. I ain't the greatest at maths. And that's it. And I really don't want to get any of that on my t-shirt. Oh, incidentally, the t-shirt that I'm wearing, I want to do like one like this that says dad jokes on it and other ones. I set up a store on Redbubble, uh, but since I've done that, loads of other people have gone, hey, I can make you a store. 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 So I'm not sure who to go with at the moment, but it'll be soon, okay? I mean, the Redbubble store is still there. I'm just going to whop that. <laughs> I'm just gonna whop? I'm gonna mop that. I'm not even gonna mop it. I'm gonna dab it. No. All right, let's take the bigger pony granite. Got like that honeycomb sort of netting on it thing. So we just stick it on there. Uh, oh, you're supposed to hit it with the, you're supposed to spank it with the bigger end rather than the drumstick end, okay? I'm kind of like, put it face down on the lid and tap with a wooden spoon. His pomegranate's all intact. Mine's kind of starting to perish from those, um, those slats that I made. But they are falling through. I'm going to carry on with this. Stay. <laughs> I got some specks on my t shirt. Nah. But look, it's emptied it. Probably don't have to smack it quite as violently as I was. Bringing out my inner Dave Grohl. Foo Fighters is one of my favourite bands, by the way. I won't worry about that half of it. We've got a bit of juice in there, but we've got all the pomegranate seeds. Oh, so good. But what, Barry, if you wanted to wrap this with cling film now and store it? What if you wanted to retest a gadget that you needed to wait for the things to arrive? The Rap Master 3000, which is not the name of an 80s rapper. Hey, you mean like a Snickers rapper? I pity the... No. The Wrap Master 3000 for foil, baking parchment, and all that stuff. Hopefully, something that's going to stop me doing this. 
Seriously though, a good food hack to help with getting clinging film off is to put it in the fridge. When I ordered the Rapmaster 3000, I started doing my video, I forget which one it was, and then I realized I didn't have any of the inserts, so it didn't actually come with any. So I ordered these cling film refills, and then I shoved it up in my loft with all the other gadgets and just forgot about it for a while. But I've been told the Rapmaster 3000 is amazing because a lot of commercial kitchens use it. I mean, look at this, these are like, heavy duty cling film things right there. And that's how they get you, because once you use it, it's got these special notches on the end. I'm sure you could probably hack it. I might try that and let you know on the vlog. But you effectively need to have these rolls of cling film. And I guess it's the same for the foil and the baking parchment. Those guys are onto a winner. Maybe we can foil their pan. Foil their pan, oh my gosh, I'm turning into Mrs. Barry. <laughs> I mean, foil their plan. Let's just have a pug to lewd. So here is the Rapmaster 3000, like non-slip bottom on it. Um, it is a weighty, it's, it's a bit of a beast. I wanna be careful with it because I don't wanna slice things and hurt myself. You can tell it's for like a commercial kitchen because it's got all like the different color stickers on it, you know? I've placed the sticker here. It's a bit of a mistake. I don't care at all. <laughs> These jokes are foul. Ah, my hair, ow. But I loaf them. Anyhow, let's just get to the core of this gadget. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, it's not my eyebrow, is it? It's at this moment where I hope my doorbell doesn't ring. Instructions for use and refilling. Remove the cutting lid from the container base by pressing the release buttons on the side of the dispenser. Oh, they actually say press either side. <sighs> All right, there's a concealed blade in there that makes me feel a little bit safer. Insert the roll by aligning the F shape in the end of the roll with the F shape locator on the base of the container. When it comes to these instructions, we're on a roll. Oh yeah, so that is actually a letter F and there's an F in here. We have to line that up. Oh, that is snug as a bug. With the jaws of the cutting lid open, relocate the lid on the container base and press the sides of the base to lock the lid in position. Reach through the open jaws of the lid and pull out 20 centimeters of material and close the lid. I don't want to reach through the blade. All right, so we leave the jaws open so we can actually get good access to the actual sort of rib. It's in place. I've got to reach my hand in there. I don't want to do that. I can see the blade in there though, blind me. It is concealed, we're gonna be all right. It feels like putting my hand in a crocodile or something. Reminds me of an old video. Yep, just out there was the scene of that crime. Really good recipe though. Oh, that's really easy to pull out, look at that. Your wrap master is now ready to use, but it doesn't tell me how to use it. I've just trimmed it off, haven't I? <laughs> oh, that goes out the way, that, that's just like a flap. So. Oh my god, look! Oh no, <laughs> stop! Yes, freshness. But that's the only really, really annoying thing about it, is as far as I can see, I've got to reach in every time and pull that cling film out because it's just cutting it so flush. Probably just me, but look, I'm going like that. Getting my cling film off. Ugh. Yeah, but look, it's gone back inside. Oh, you can just about get it. I don't know. <laughs> it works, but I'm gonna keep mine in the fridge. I'm just editing you right now and I've realized how we do it. There's a little roller in there and it goes in this gap, comes out there, straight down and it's there. I can pull it out again. That's amazing. For this finale, I am gonna use this, which I'm simply gonna call Big Pan. I'm calling it Big Pan because I took it out of the box it arrived in and it's now in the recycling, which has been taken away. This gadget will help you cook, probably more than just to cook breakfast in one go, but that's what it's marketed at. You can do a whole cooked breakfast in one pan. One man, one pan. But you could probably do so much more in this. And the one that I've seen online actually had five compartments. I've got one, two, three, four, got it. So I've given it a wash, no recipe came with it, so I think I'm just gonna cook the meat first. There's like these ringed sections that are slightly raised there, we could probably put an egg in it, so we'll do that. I'm gonna go beans in here, I'm gonna do loads of like food in there, but I'm thinking I might put an English toasted muffin, you know what, you get like a muffin in there, or maybe uh, some bread. Or if you haven't got one of those, I guess you could get like a cookie cutter and stamp out your bread. I was gonna put vegetable oil in it, but I've decided I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use the fat that comes from the sausages, these are pork and apple ones, amazing. Uh, bacon, oh, it fits in there, yes. It's also got like a massive bottom, uh, so I'm putting it on the biggest uh, ring on the hob. Might be needing these. 
So sausages in first, because that will take the longest to cook. I'm also going to be doing a homemade sausage video with my mum, which I think will be hilarious soon. Yeah, all these compartments are pretty hot, to be fair. Thinking it might focus on there, but ah, so far so good. I love my mushrooms wilted, so I'm going to chuck those in next. My beans. Tomatoes. The bread. So far, so good. I'm not sure if you can hear me over the sizzling. Just got to keep it all moving. Hey, that's nearly there. If one part's getting too hot than the other, I'm moving it off the heat to control it. <laughs> Just got to finish my egg off and I'm done. To be fair, this is amazing. We're done. It's only fair to serve it up on a DJ dinner set plate. Eat with the beat. <laughs> it's got songs on it. No sleep till broccoli. I'll do anything for lunch, but I won't eat that. Looking <laughs> at the plate, that's like the turntable thing. Oh, that's cool. Let's do it. <laughs> it's plastic. Oh, so it sits in there like, what, what, what? Got the volume controls. Oh, and the fork goes in that and then you can, but I got these. <laughs> Let's give it a quick wash. I've got a genius idea. Look. Bacon, mushrooms. <laughs> right, let's jump to it. Ta-da! There we go. Um, This is definitely a kid's plate. It doesn't fit on it, but I've got my toasted bread there as well, my beans on there, the eggs, mushrooms, tomatoes, bacon, sausage. Oh, my gosh. But a bit like that channel, will it blend? Will it DJ? Hey, yo, it's DJ Breakfast in the house. Boom. And just for those of you wondering, the um, the knife is got a really good serrated edge on it. So that cutted like a dream from a bacon. Ah, oh, needs ketchup and brown sauce. Both. I put both on mine. Today's video has been a heck of a workout. Um, my favourite gadget with these, it was just so simple, um, but effective. Like the pan was great, but this is just genius. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to make sure you're notified of all future videos and uploads. Follow me on social media at My Virgin Kitchen for loads of behind the scenes bits and bobs. For example, I've been teasing these videos on my Instagram stories and of course the giveaways of the gadgets on all my social media. I pick out followers from day one, so not just new ones, okay? Let me know down below what you want to see next and I think I will send that tweet uh, to Mr. T. So if you see it, give it a like or a retweet, something like that. See if we can uh, get it going. I pity the food. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a barathon now and I'll see you later.